welcome back to our class don't forget to subscribe if it is your first time to visit our channel all right okay let's look at the mechanism of uh, breathing how is breathing uh, being brought about sometimes we call it ventilation ventilation like allowing air to come into the lungs see even the, those small small uh, uh, ventilators on the on the house it allows air to go in and out that's how the lungs are that's why it's called ventilators so ventilation even the one who they put on corona people they call it ventilators why because they allow air to come in and to go out ventilators ventilation all right the process of breathing is a mechanical process air moves in and out of the lung as a result of differences in the atmospheric pressure. So the atmospheric air pressure is different. If it is too much, the atmospheric air pressure is too much, then the air is dragged into the lungs. If it is low, the lungs have a, a higher pressure compared to the atmosphere, then the air is pushed out of the, of the lungs. Then you're saying that involves uh, different muscles. We saw them. We have the intercostal muscles and then we have the diaphragm. These muscles, volume and pressure will aid in breathing in and breathing out. And it will result in changing of the thoracic cavity, the space of the thorax. Yes, the space of the chest. It will be what? It will be changed. So inhalation means breathing in of the air and then exhalation means breathing out of air so let's look at it so you have the rib cage these are the ribs yes you have the air if you go to inhalation diaphragm contracts and then moves downwards yes that is during inhalation so what happens when you drag in air this air will not drag in or it will not come in unless these muscles have acted so this one go out and up when it goes out like it goes to this side from this point to this point it goes out and up that's why these arrows they are like that yes when they go out and up yes this diaphragm goes down it goes down when it goes down it makes uh this space to shift from this point you see where it is to this point it means that now the space inside the lungs is greater it means that uh, the pressure, the volume is, is big. It means that the pressure is low. Now the, the atmospheric pressure is going to be higher than that one of the lungs. And then the air is going to be dragged into the lungs. And then it comes to uh, breathing out. Yes, what happens? These uh, muscles and the rib cage they move in and down. They move in, they go inside and then down. Yes, when they move in and down yes the diaphragm now tries to bend it bends it bends inside when it bends inside then it means that now the the, the space inside here is gonna be small pressure is gonna be great the pressure inside the lungs is greater than the atmospheric air pressure and then the air is gonna be pushed out of the the lungs yeah during inhalation what happens uh, breathing in we say that um, inhalation, it is an active process. It means that it requires energy. So there is contraction of muscles. When the muscles contract, they require energy. During inhalation, the diaphragm, that is the diaphragm, this one, and then uh, diaphragm muscles contract and it becomes flat. It doesn't have that, that shape. And then moves downwards. It moves to the uh, downer side. Then the intercostal muscles between the rib, uh, they contract. These muscles between here, they contract. And then the rib cage lifts uh, upwards and uh, outwards. It goes up and out, goes up and out. So that um, the, the space inside the, the, the thorax is increased so that uh, the volume uh, is increased. The increase in volume will reduce the pressure inside. And then the outside pressure uh, of the air is greater than the inside uh, pressure of the air in the lungs. And what happens? Then the air pressure in the lungs decreases as the chest volume increases. 
and then the atmospheric pressure is greater than the pressure inside the lungs and then now the air is is going to start flowing into the lungs that's basically what is inhalation and this is the opposite of exhalation so if we re <clears throat> we look at exhalation is almost uh, the same as inhalation in opposite way so what happens this is a passive process it means that doesn't require energy doesn't require energy it means that muscles don't contract so it means that muscles tend to relax that's why you're saying that it's a passive process so during um uh, exhalation you're saying that air is pushed out it is breathing out so air is pushed out so what causes air to be pushed out number one you have the diaphragm uh, relaxes when the diaphragm relaxes this diaphragm yeah it relaxes and then uh, moves upwards so it moves to the inner side you see it, it was passing here uh, during inhalation but now it is pushed uh, inside it goes upwards and then the intercostal muscles relax these muscles on the on the rib uh, on the rib cage uh, they try to um, relax and then what happens when they relax the rib cage moves downwards and inwards it moves down you see it was passing here these dotted lines are showing you where it was passing it moves um it moves uh downwards it moves downwards and in down and in you try to do a, a breathe um a breathe out you will see that your chest will go down you will cool down yes and then you're saying that the air pressure in the lungs is um is is increased because now this diaphragm is pushed in and then the volume reduces when the volume reduces then the air inside or the volume inside the lungs is reduced then it means that uh the the pressure is increased and the pressure pushes that air out of the lungs because the pressure in the lungs is greater than the pressure outside the lungs or in the atmosphere so the air is pushed out so that now we equalize the pressure and then another breathing in uh, can do again basically that's what you need to know about inhalation and exhalation so here are some of the questions wanted you to know about this it is a model used to demonstrate the mechanism of breathing this is the mechanism of breathing one is showing breathing in one is showing breathing out when you are breathing out it means that uh, the lungs are they do contract when they contract yes uh it, it 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 pushes the air out of the what out of the lungs so you see that now the air is being pushed out of the what the air has been pushed out so the volume here is small in this balloon is small if the volume is small the pressure is high then the uh, the air is pushed out and then here you have the volume has been increased it means that now the pressure has uh, reduced the volume is big the pressure is low and then uh, air is dragged into the what are uh, the, the the lungs just this is acting as the lungs then you have the diaphragm you hear you see the diaphragm when you push it in then uh the 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 the, the diaphragm goes in eh? when you are breathing out yes the diaphragm goes up you see it goes up and then you are breathing in um the diaphragm goes down yes when it goes down it means that the volume inside here is what is big and then it causes the air to to be uh, moved uh, into the lungs so basically uh, that's how you can interpret uh, this small uh, experiment uh, for each of the model part listed below provide an appropriate um, name for uh, the corresponding part in the human respiratory system which one is um, a corresponding part in a human uh, respiratory system number one the glass tube this is the glass tube you see uh they are saying this is a glass tube then it means that this is the trachea see this is a trachea which brings the air into the lungs yes then you are saying that the balloon the balloon is acting as um uh, the lungs yes it's where um uh, gaseous exchange is taking place oh swear and then the belgia what is the belgia the belgia is acting as a protection for the lungs so it can be uh, we can call it a rib cage yes it is acting as the pr protection for the what for the for the lungs so we are saying that um another question does b this b 
does B represent an active or a passive process in a human mechanism of breathing? Remember, uh, active is breathing in. It requires energy. And then uh, passive is breathing out. Doesn't require energy. The muscles relax. So does it uh, show active or passive? If you look at it, it is uh, breathing. You are breathing in. When you're breathing in, muscles must contract. So it shows an active process. What happens to the air pressure in the belgia at B? At B, what happens to the air pressure at B? The air pressure inside or inside here, it means that the air pressure is what is reduced because the volume has been increased. When you put it down, the volume increases. When the volume increases, the, the pressure reduces. Therefore, the air pressure inside reduces while the air pressure outside is greater than the air pressure inside. So the air pressure, the answer is the air pressure does what? Reduces. And then they're saying that what happens to the volume? What happens to the volume of the space in the bell jar at B? So we see that uh, if the pressure has been, uh, the, the pressure has reduced, if you look at it, if the pressure has reduced, when you put it down, obviously the volume increases. And then when the volume increases, the pressure reduces. So what is happening here? Uh, the, the, the air pressure uh, reduces while the volume increases. Then they're saying that, what do you see as a restriction to the models when comparing them to the actual human uh, body? Uh, when you are comparing it, uh, mention two possible limitations of the model shown in the above. If you look at this model, what, is, what are some of the limitations? Basically, if you look at the rib cage, eh, this belger, it does not move. It is static. Yes? Yeah. Uh, the, the rib cage for it, 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 it goes up. It moves up and out. It moves up and out up and out, and then moves down and in when um, it, it, it's breathing in and breathing out. But this belgia does not, does not move. So it is a limitation. So that's number one. So what? Um, uh, it's a limitation. Number two, if you look at uh, lungs, the lungs, there are two. Here, they are just showing only one uh, kind of lung. In actual sense, it, there are two of them. So basically, that's how you can try to discuss such a question just in case that we bring it in the exam, you should know how to uh, discuss it and get uh, at least the what? The marks. Gaseous exchange in, uh, in, in, in lungs. I, I